Lama, I'm your biggest fan. Maybe, but you're not the newest. Uh, love that segue. Anyway, this is uh, Utilitech. Got this from Lowe's. And uh, the reason why I got this from Lowe's is because, um, you know, the government bribe check and things like that. They're like, hey, hey, American citizen. And I'm like, yes. And they're like, do you want, do you want to go buy stuff? And I'm like, well, well, yeah. And then they were like, well, here you go then. And I was like, yay, crack. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I'll be responsible. And I'll get a window fan. I actually... I actually got two window fans. The other one is in the kitchen. But the kitchen isn't this clean, and I don't want to embarrass myself or horrify any of my viewers. So I've decided not <laughs> to film that one. Incidentally, this one does live next to a llama because of course it does. And you know, you probably notice the jeans I have down there. Those are actually, um, not jeans in the heap of the floor. Those those have turned into rags because the llama is pretty rough on clothing. You know, I'll show you some clothing right now. See, I'm with the llama t-shirt. Isn't it lovely? Anyway, <laughs> moving on. This cat thinks of nothing but murder all day. All right, fellers. The day has come. It was a long time coming. <laughs> but I think I think it's uh eighty percent done. Ah, how to clean your basement. Well, I think the key you get one of those, big trash bag. That's helpful. But uh, what I did was, when you're uh, when you're tidying something up, the key to tidying up is once you're done with a spot, never touch that spot again. You know what I mean? Once, once you put your 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 painting stuff and and tool stuff and appliance stuff, once they're there, they're there forever. Don't put anything else on top of them. Don't move them around. But once you clean a spot, that does not mean you have a new overflow area, right? That means that, uh, well, you have a clean spot. And if you find something that doesn't go in these sections, you clean another spot somewhere else and put it there. Let's see. That's the uh, wisdom of the llama. This is the new dehumidifier, which randomly turns on and off whenever it wants. And I guess that's fine. It's what it's designed to do. It says 52 on it. I don't know what that means. But uh, there's a chair over there in a the corner. That's going to have to go to the dump because it's, uh, well, it's an amusement park ride. <laughs> This chair is kind of a, a folding rocker, which is a great theory, but it, 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 it's so rigid and it's been down here for so long it won't unfold, so it's not very useful. Plus it's covered with mold, so I'm thinking that's got to go too. This one, well, although it's, it's right icky, it's totally retro. And somebody painted it silver, which I'm not I'm not pleased with. But it's retro and kind of cool looking. I don't know. Maybe if I cleaned it up a little. I'd... If you have, like, a thought of what to do with this chair, it's got a little cat bed on it right now in case a kitty decides to take a nap. Uh, if, you, if you have any ideas, let me know what I should do with that nifty little retro chair. But this... It's taken me years to accumulate all of this stuff. And, uh, 
you know, just a couple hours to organize it. And I'm pretty proud of myself, gotta say. It's impressive. And, um, you know, it's it's the small victories in life. You know what I mean? That's what that's what matters. Um, I got my clothes down here because I don't trust the dryer. The dryer has its own personality, but you know, who cares? I can hang up clothes. It's fine. The dehumidifier keeps it dry down here. And although there is, you know, you can see see some mold and graffiti. Um, <laughs> it's really not. Uh, it's really rather pleasant down here, and it's always cooler down here than it is upstairs. So it's not unpleasant. What I have to do next is I see some grass on the floor because of this thing. Um, I'm going to need to, to to sweep this out, but I think it's about 80% done down here. It hasn't been this organized in probably a decade, you know. Um, I do have a uh, a Christmas tree down there, just kind of dumped, and I'm kind of holding on to that just because it's one of those cool old retro ones that are actually made out of steel, right? And it has all of its parts, you know, and there's some, there's some random lumber around it too, but I mean, something like that, if I were to get a, a Christmas tree like that, it, it, it would be expensive. And uh, right now it's, it's kind of a little rough, but it is steel and I can easily bend it to shape if I want to. So I mean it's still it's still sort of useful. It's kind of on the fence. Like should I keep it? Should I let it go? You know it's one of those things and this is the perfect uh, basement item. You know what I'm saying? But anyway I wanted to give you fellers a tour. Nobody asked. This this is the video that nobody asked for. Nobody has ever wondered, hey llama how's your basement looking? And, uh, <laughs> and there you go. This is um, props for a really old video that's all duct taped. And they're basically fake presents, right? Because I decided once I was just going to make boxes, du duct tape them, make them look like presents. I don't know why, and I don't remember what the video was about. But if you go back a couple a couple years in my history here on on the YouTube's, probably closer to five or six years, <laughs> you'll find it, <laughs> and then you'll know what that's all about. I'm thinking about trashing this too, just because there's no point. But anyway, I guess we're ending with a backyard chat. It is an absolutely lovely day. It's the perfect day to go down in your basement and just just tidy stuff up. I'm taking spring cleaning seriously, folks. There's a cat over there. <laughs> Get out of there. Anyway. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, you fellers. You're super. Have a wonderful day. And I'm out. Looks like you've reached the end of the video here, fellers. Well, I do appreciate you watching. And if you don't mind, just going down in the comments section there and bleep blooping your little comments and leave a like and a dislike and a share and a subscribe and a complaint and, and a salutation and whatever else you want to do. Incidentally, my uh, store link should be in the description somewhere. If you want to stop by and click on stuff, that would be super nifty. Anyway, that's what I got. So you have a wonderful day.